We're going to do some rust repair today. And my other camera's broke. My Sony HD. So, I've got to send it in for warranty, so I'm using the cheap flip again. Now, what's happened is, let's see, water has leaked from the top seal, run down this crack here, and into the floor. And I noticed this a while back, and I sprayed some uh, rusty metal primer on it, and just kind of a, I didn't have time to fix it then, so it's pretty bad, it's not, it's, you know, super bad, it's, but it's fixable. And the front had a leak too, it's not as bad. It's actually wet right now, I thought I'd gotten this leak fixed, but it, it's got some you know, some scaly stuff in here and right in here. So we'll get all that fixed too. Pull this pull this panel off so we can we'll fold the carpet back. You know, but all this is okay. That's more of that primer around. So it's not too bad. It's just it's got some spots. Well, making some progress. Um Quite a few holes. I've just been using a screwdriver so far. Daddy, look at that dog. Uh -huh. But now, use the brush and clean it up, and then we're probably almost to the point where we're gonna start putting the rust bullet on. Just want to make sure I get all the scaly rust off. kind of be careful with this thing because what it'll do it'll catch in these holes and rip the holes out bigger so on the holes you're just kind of got to spot over them I'll continue on this for a while. So I'm pretty much done with all the grinding and all that kind of stuff. Um, so now I got this with the rust bullet called Metal Blast. So we're going to spray that on and then once that dries, we're going to rinse that off and once that dries, we can do the rust bullet. Well, there it is with the first coat of um, rust bullet. Just paint it on just like regular paint and just use the brush. Went and kind of lapped over the rust no rust over there. Brown is primer. So, let this dry a couple of hours and then we'll put another coat on. 
So the rust bullet is dry. Um, so it's time to do fiberglass. Now, what I've done, these spots that were missing, were rusted out, I had to pull out. This, I just filled it with, uh, made it out of duct tape, and then I can put the fiberglass cloth over this and kind of shape it. And did the head do the same thing up here? So it should be rigid enough to uh, mold the fiberglass to it. And so we'll go ahead. We'll cut out sheets of fiberglass. Kind of make all of our pieces first. Then we'll mix up the fiberglass. You got to add the um, hardening stuff to it. So we'll mix it up in a separate container and um, add the liquid hardener in. Then we'll paint on the resin, just a brush, one you can throw away, paint it on, then we'll lay the cloth over it, and then we'll paint oh, paint the resin back on top of the cloth. Well, the fiberglass is on and it's drying. Um, not real happy with my duct tape idea. Um, Probably should have tried to find some masking tape because the fiberglass wouldn't stick to the duct tape. So it didn't, you can see, you know, it, it fits a little tighter around where it went on the um, metal and then it kind of fits a little loose. But it's fine. I mean, it's, you know, there's a rubber seal that goes on there and it's going to be fine. And, of course, We'll have to do some sanding to get rid of some of the excess uh, resin. And then over here, once it dries, you know, we can sand it down a little bit. And back here. So. I've got all my fiberglass work done. I did um, two layers of cloth, you know, letting put a layer down, let it dry for like a day, and then put another layer down over the holes. So any spot like over here that had holes have um, two layers of cloth just to kind of strengthen it um, so it's very solid. Um, won't give any and then you can see I mean that didn't come out perfectly straight you know where it was missing the piece but it came out strong and the um, the seal fits on there fine and it's going to be fine so I'm um, happy with the way that came out. The front pretty much came out perfectly straight and it's even stronger. So anyway, you know, it looks a little messy along here, but I've got some sanding to do. Um, what I think I'm going to do is I'll end up masking it off probably to about right here and to about right here and since this is you know, like high traffic you could say the paint was worn off here anyway um, and I'll spray bed liner I'm gonna put two coats of rust bullet over all the fiberglass to just seal it in and that will help smooth this out a little bit because the rust bullet is um, thick and then once I put the bed liner over it, you won't even be able to tell the fiberglass work on it.